Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Water. Today we're going to strike an arc and learn how to weld a 6010 on a Lincoln Ranger 225. So if you want to learn how to do that, watch this video. So in this video I'm welding 6010 1 8 rods at around 90 amps, which is a good running amperage for this rod. I strike the arc like a normal uh, stick electrode with a matchstick style method. And with 6010, you run it a little differently than you do 6013 or 7018 or most other electrodes. You have to use either a whipping motion or a circle motion or some kind of motion to keep it from burning through the plate. And when what I'm doing in this video right now is a whipping motion. I whip out for one second, whip back two seconds. So I count one, two, three, one, two, three, kind of like a waltz beat to it. And that, doing that, I move the electrode along. Now this electrode has a lot of spatter and a flaky slag to it that comes off real easy. And you can see this when I hit it with the wire wheel, it comes right off. It just comes off just that easy. 6010 is an electrode that's real good for dirty metals or metals that you can't really get too clean. It burns through paint and rust reasonably well. It's used by a lot of farmers because of that because you can't get a lot of stuff clean. It's used for a couple other things like open root gaps it's also used for. And here I'm just going to run a little short bead to straighten this up doing that same matchstick method so just to strike it and right off the edge of the plate I strike it and I count one two three one two three to get my little step beat going and I just do a short bead here just straighten everything up and it cleans up easy that's one of the things I like about 610 Testing out an auto dark lens, which is fine for some things, but the grinder keeps setting off, making it darken. So I might have to adjust my settings on it for the next videos from here on. So here I'm going again, doing the same beat, same method for striking. I'm still doing the whip method right here. I'm going to do a short beat here and then I'll do next beat will be over both plates that are left. I don't know how much this plate I'll weld in this video, but I'm sure I'll show y'all. Here I'm doing little circles now. And as you can see, it builds up the bead a little bit more. And I'm stepping along a little bit further with each uh, circle I do, so. You, I try to come out from the puddle about the diameter of the electrode when I'm doing circles. And 
as you see compared to the rest of the beads it stands up from the plate a little bit thicker which means if you want more reinforcement of your weld you can do circles instead of whips In this bead, I'm doing circles again. I'm burning, it, burning the rods down to about where the letters and numbers are on the rods. And I'll break the arc there. That's a good habit to get into when you're doing stick welding. A lot of companies will get upset with you if you're working for them and you're burning less than that because then it's just a waste of an electrode in most instances if you don't use it and as you can see you can keep the uh, bead going pretty straight with a whip or circle method some of them are more easy to get off to one side than the other if you're not careful As you can see, they restrike real easy. Just kidding. Sometimes you have issues. <laughs> but typically they do strike easy. Now 610 is what, what is called a cellulose rod meaning it has uh, cellulose in the flux from, it's I think a wood rod is what it's based, the flux main chemical is. And if you see that kind of tannish soot that's on the metal, that's one of the side effects of running 6010, is it leaves a, a thick sooty soot around it, but it comes off with a wire wheel pretty good. It'll still leave some of it behind in crevices and everything, but for the most part you can get it off easily. Now from here on, I'm going to uh, take and run a time lapse to speed it up a little bit. I'm still just doing the same things I have been doing the rest of the video, but I'm going to time lapse it so it gets goes a little faster. And this is called padding beads. It's just you run beads back to back with about three quarter overlap to them. And it's a good practice to get into running beads on plate. It comes in handy when you're trying to do T-joints and multi-pass welds. Because it teaches you how to overlay your beads properly. I hope you all like this video on how to strike an arc with 6010. I hope you all tune in next week on how to do a pad of beads, which is something I recommend. For 6010 especially because it's a difficult welding electrode to learn how to use because of the whipping motion that is required. So if you will please like, comment, and subscribe and click that little bell icon to be notified of our future videos. Till next time, keep on welding folks.